Hey guys, this is Luke from the Scoundrels Cantina, and welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be telling you the story of how the Death Star plans were stolen by the Rebel Alliance. As always, we're mixing the expanded universe and canon, because we believe that there is no reason why most of it can't fit together. That means that this video will feature the whole Rogue One story as well as a bit of The Force Unleashed and most of the expanded universe content based on the stealing of the Death Star plans which can coexist with Rogue One. What you're about to watch is how it all played out for us in our headcanon, so anyway, let's begin. In 2 BBY, the rebel leaders Mon Mothma, Bail Organa, Gambel Iblis and Ram Koda were captured by Darth Vader and conducted to a huge space station. They became aware of the Death Star's existence, but were not fully aware of its true nature and what it could do. Codenamed Starkiller, Galen Merrick came to rescue the rebel leaders, which ultimately cost him his life, but he was successful in his mission. Operation Skyhook was launched shortly after their escape from the Death Star, and it involved stealing vital information about the space station and how to destroy it. It involved multiple missions in obtaining the Death Star's data, and also became one of the most devastating series of battles in the Galactic Civil War. The missions to obtain data on the station were very messy and convoluted. Supposedly, there were many separate parts of the Death Star schematics, which showed different parts of the massive station. Many separate rebel cells participating in the stealing of the plans, so now I'll be going over the most notable examples. At number one, we have Kao Katan who was an Imperial defector, turned mercenary, who worked for the Rebel Alliance. He was chosen to steal a portion of the Death Star's data from an Imperial research facility on Danuta. With the help of a fellow rebel named Jan Oz, who created the distraction, Kyle was able to complete his mission and escape Danuta. He also received help from an old friend who was an Imperial officer that gave him the layout of the facility. After Kal Katan completed his mission, he personally delivered the data to Princess Leia on board the Tantive Four. At number two, we have a female Twi'lek mercenary by the name of Rihanna Saren, who was hired by Kal Katan right after his mission to also go to the Imperial Research Facility on Danuta and steal the exact same data. This was probably done because the Rebels wanted to be sure that the data they obtained wasn't a trap by the Empire. And this wasn't the only time the Rebels stole multiples of the same plans. Anyway, Rihanna was successful in her mission and delivered the data she obtained to Leia on Alderaan. At number 3 is Gambel Iblis, who is believed to have gotten his hands on a part of the Death Star's plans on Darknell. After that, it was believed that he was dead, but he re-emerged soon after. At number 4, we have the rebel prisoners who were held on board the Death Star, who somehow managed to escape the prison complex and obtain some data on the station. They were able to transmit the information to Polis Massa, but were then all captured by the Imperials and executed. At number 5 are all the other rebels that managed to get some info on the Death Star and eventually transmit it to Leia Organa to the Tentive 4 during her many mercy missions. The most notable rebels that did this were Havit Storm, and Key and Farlander. After so many attempts to retrieve information on the Galactic Empire's giant space station, the Rebel Alliance still didn't know the main purpose of it and that it was actually a superweapon. Now finally, this huge story comes to the story that happened in Rogue One. Galen Erso was a scientist who worked for the Empire and was in charge of creating the super laser on the Death Star. He sent an Imperial pilot by the name of Bodhi Rook with a holographic message to his old friend Saw Gerrera. In it, he told him of the finished superweapon and that he created an unnoticeable weakness in it that if exploited would destroy the entire battle station. He also said that the complete plans to the Death Star were in the Imperial security complex on Scarif. Galen counted on Saw to deliver it to the Rebel Alliance, but Saw was so delusional and didn't know what to believe anymore. The Rebel Alliance then sent Jin Erso, Galen's daughter, to retrieve the vital information her father sent. In the meantime, the Death Star was unleashed and the holy city of Jeddah was destroyed, but Jin, alongside her companions, was able to escape. They eventually went to the Rebel Alliance headquarters on Yavin 4 and warned them about what had happened, but the Rebels refused to act. So Jin, alongside Cassian Endo, Bodhi Rook, K2SO, Chirrut Imwe, Baze Malbus, and some other Rebels decided to infiltrate Scarif and acquire the plans. During their mission on Scarif, Ram Koda and X2, who was the clone of his deceased apprentice Fallon Grey, found the Death Star's location and decided to infiltrate it. 
They were also the ones that decided to act on their own after Jin Erso's speech at the Yavin rebel base. That eventually led them to acquire some data on the station, rescue a few rebel prisoners, and even shoot a Star Destroyer with a Death Star's super laser during their escape. After that, they traveled to Yavin 4 to the Rebel Alliance High Command to deliver the data that they obtained. When the Rogue One team got past the planetary shield, Jin and Cassian infiltrated the security complex while the other rebels created a diversion. Soon after, the rebels in Yavin intercepted Imperial transmissions that stated that there were rebels on Scarif and immediately some rebel leaders acted and sent a whole fleet to aid them. While the Battle of Scarif ensued, another big battle took place at Toprawa, where Rebel Commander Bria Thorin took hold of other Death Star schematics and transmitted them to the Tantiv IV before she and her men were killed. Darth Vader arrived at Toprawa and learned of Leia's possession of classified Imperial data based on the Death Star, so he pursued her to the Battle of Scarif by orders from Tarkin. On Scarif, the Rogue One team managed to transmit the full stolen Death Star plans to the Rebel Alliance, but in the midst of the battle, they were all killed one by one. When the Alliance got their hands on the plans, they began retreating, but Vader cut them off with his Star Destroyer and boarded the capital ship. There, he cut through many Rebel troopers and almost retrieved the Rebellion's only hope. It was simply the will of the Force that the Rebels managed to board the Tantive IV with their hope in their hands. The Tantive IV then escaped the system to Tatooine to its secondary mission to pick up a great Jedi Master in hiding called Obi-Wan Kenobi. Darth Vader tracked the Tantive and captured it, so Leia, in her last attempt to deliver the plans to the Rebellion, hid them in R2-D2, who was launched in an escape pod to Tatooine alongside C-3PO. And that is where Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope begins and eventually the Rebel Alliance scores one of the biggest victories in galactic history by destroying the Death Star. Because of this major event in Star Wars, the years have been divided to BBY meaning before the Battle of Yavin and ABY meaning after the Battle of Yavin. Anyway guys, this is it on the video and we hope you all enjoyed it and learned something new about the vast galaxy of Star Wars. If you want to watch more videos like this one, the links to the playlist for our other Star Wars videos will be in the description down below. Also, if you want to support this channel, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one, and remember guys, God is awesome, may the force be with you always, and we'll see you in another video, you rebel scum. This party's over.